Therefore we heard of the glories of Sri Hanuman. But superior to Hanuman is the Pandavas. Because even Krishna became a servant of the Pandavas. And Hanuman also had to serve the Pandavas by coming on the flag of Arjuna. Therefore all the Pandavas, superior amongst all of them is Arjuna and Draupadi. But when Krishna showed his Visvarup, his universal form to Krishna, then Arjuna began shaking. Oh, forgive me. You are the creator of even the creators of this world. And I called you friend, Yadu, etc. Therefore, Arjuna became full of Gora Buddhi, respectful feelings, and his bhakti decreased. Therefore, superior to even the Pandavas are the Yadus. And of all the Yadus, Uddhav is the best. Because Uddhav is Krishna's cousin brother also. His minister, his friend. He follows Krishna like a shadow. And out of all the millions of Yadus, Krishna chose him only to go to Vrindavan as his representative. He said, Uddhav, oh, Krishna knows that his mother and father, Nanda and Yasoda, are almost dying in separation from him. And the gopis are restless like a fish out of water. Then how to pacify them? Who will I send? Krishna considered deeply and sent Uddhav. But there is a more secret point to this, rather than simply giving pacification to the Brijabhasis. That is one point to consider. The gopis are experiencing separation from Krishna, but there are many, many gopis. Therefore, when Shimani Radhika feels separation from Krishna, then she can be pacified by her friends like Lalita and Vishaka. Yasoda is experiencing separation from Krishna, but she can be pacified by the other senior ladies of Goku. They can share their hearts with them and then their pain can become lessened. But to whom Krishna will speak in Mathura? There is no one who can understand the bhava of the Brajabhasis. Therefore Krishna was thinking if Uddhav could go there and learn something, he could come back, then we could discuss amongst ourselves, I would be pacified and happy. Therefore Uddhav is a great scholar, but Dayaksa Premko. All the scriptures just give two syllables, Prema. Therefore, two and a half syllables. Two and a half, no. So, Krishna was thinking, if I send Uddhav there to Vrindavan, he can hear something, he can learn something, then he can come back and we, I can reveal my mind to him. Krishna knows actually that Uddhav cannot pacify the Brijabhasis. And in fact, Uddhav went there and their separation only increased millions of times. Therefore, one afternoon, Krishna was on the roof of his palace in Mathura, looking towards Vrindavan. And seeing that time was the time where the cows returned home from cow grazing, thinking that Krishna became immersed in remembrance of the Brijabhasis, the cows, Nandiya Sode, and especially the gopis. And Krishna began weeping. Uddhav saw Krishna weeping on the roof and caught his hand, Oh brother, what's wrong with you? Uddhav was astonished, the Supreme Lord can weep. Therefore Krishna said, Oh Uddhav, you should go to Vrindavan. They are completely, their lives are about to leave them. You should go there and pacify them. Only because I gave the promise, I will return the day after tomorrow. Sometime, somehow or other, they are maintaining their life. Oh, Udav, the gopis have given their lives to me. In fact, I am their life. It is for this reason that they are still living. Therefore, Krishna gave Udav a golden chariot. And on that chariot, Udav went to Vrindavan. As he was going towards Vrindavan, then Yogamaya gave him some vision, some vision of that, the, he gave him vision of Vrindavan, the same as when Krishna was present there. He saw millions of cows, millions of calves. People were shouting, hey, bring that bucket. Hey, release that calf. Hey, don't do that. They saw bulls fighting for cows. Everyone was full of ecstasy and very happy. The sound of the flute was everywhere and the gopis were churning yogurt, singing Govinda Dhamo Dharamadaveti, just as if Krishna was there. Then the next second Yogamaya took away her 
curtain and Udav saw everyone is drowning in separation. So when Udav came to Brindavan, then Nanda Babu was there. He thought Udav must be hungry having traveled all day. Therefore, he wanted to feed Udav, but there was nothing to feed him because Madhya Yasoda had become blind in Krishna's separation from weeping so much. Madhya Soda had not cooked since the day Krishna left for Mathura, because for whom will she cook? All her pots were covered in spider webs and covered in dust. Therefore, Nanda Baba requested one Brahmin who was living nearby to cook some sweet rice for, Ud for Udav. But that Brahmin had no sugar, because when Krishna left Vrindavan, all the sweetness went with him. Therefore, Udav somehow ate that rice boiled in milk. Then Nanda Baba, with his voice choked, he asked, How is Krishna? How is my, my brother Vasudeva is very fortunate because all his sons were killed by Kamsa and Kamsa was killed by his own sins, not by Krishna. They were ordered. Nanda Baba, with his voice choked and tears pouring down his chest, he asked, How is my Krishna? Or Uda, sometimes to forget Krishna, to escape this pain of separation, I leave this house and I go to Yamuna. I go to Govardhan. But everywhere, under every tree, I see Krishna has performed some lila here. I see his footprints everywhere. I go outside to forget Krishna, but I cannot forget Krishna. In fact, my remembrance of him simply increases. Therefore, Udav saw the prema of Nanda Baba. He became astonished. He thought, I have been sent here to pacify them. Though, therefore, thinking deeply, Udav said to Sri Nanda Baba, who could speak, Yasoda could not speak. Oh, Nanda and Yasoda, you are the most fortunate. Hearing this, the Nanda Baba laughed. Fortunate, Udav. I thought that you had gone with Krishna, you may have achieved some intelligence. But I see that you are very foolish. Even your milk teeth have not come. Means you are like a child. You are saying that I am fortunate. Yes, because you have developed such prem for the Supreme Lord, who has come as your son. The Nanda Baba said, You are saying the Supreme Lord came as my son. But the Supreme Lord, is only, he only takes prema. He is only interested in prem. But he saw that we have no prema. Therefore he left us and went somewhere else. And you are calling us fortunate? Oh, would have, we are the most wretched, the most unfortunate. Then Sri Nanda Baba said, If there was one father... That was Dasarat Maharaj. When Ram went to the forest, he could not maintain his life. He cried, Haram, Haram, and left this world. But I am still alive. Odav, my heart is like a stone. And saying this, weeping all night, the past in discussions of Krishna Kata. In the morning, Odav went to bath in Krishna Kund, nearby Nandagam. And there he chanted his mantra, his anik. And underneath one tree, he saw a gopi. Some gopis were discussing. And Udav was hearing. One gopi asked, who is he? Another gopi said, oh, you don't know, that is the messenger of Krishna. Because the eyes can cheat one, but the nose cannot cheat. There was this, this fellow comes from Krishna because that garland he is wearing has the fragrance of Krishna upon him. And he is wearing Krishna's pitamba, his yellow cloth. Therefore, therefore, this is the messenger of Krishna. Just see, now Krishna is showing, I am very big. Even my messenger rides on a golden chariot. Hearing this, Uddhav was ashamed. Why I came in a golden chariot? I should have came and come with bare feet. Therefore, one gopi, why has he come here? We don't know why he is bothered to send the messenger. Then a gopi said, it's true, Krishna may have left us, our relation may have broken, but it's not very easy to forget one's mother and father. Therefore, Krishna has sent his messenger to pacify Sri Nanda and Sri Yasoda. Then another gopi asked, then why has he come to see us? Then one gopi said, you know, Kams has died, and in Vrindavan they could not find any pinda. When someone dies, then they offer some oblation, some foodstuffs for the departed soul. But in Matura there was nothing to give to the dead soul of Kamsa. Therefore he has come here to collect the hearts of the gopis because we are also about to die. 
In hearing this, Udav felt most wretched. So Udav came, and the gopis asked him, Udav, can you answer our question? There are two types of prema. One is swat prem, swat my prem. That means love with selfishness. And the other type of prem is niswat prem, nirmal prem. Pure devon, pure prem where there is no selfishness. There are many examples of selfish prema. For example, a beggar. He comes to your house, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. But as soon as you give him a donation, he's out of there. Even you may say, oh brother, let me hear two or three kirtans. He said, I can't, I have many things to do and he'll leave. He's fulfilled the reason for which he's come, then he's left. Or like a student. A student learns everything from the teacher. But when his studies are finished, even he may be lucky, he will not even bow to the teacher before leaving and he will never come back. Because he has fulfilled the desire for which he has come. Selfish love is seen in a prostitute. She gives so much love to the man. When his credit card is finished, then she kicks him. A bird has so much attachment to the tree as long as there is fruits there. But when the fruits are finished, then he leaves. The deer has so much love for the forest. But when the grass is finished, he moves to another forest. A man has so much affection for a woman. But if she is burnt by a fire, then he will kick her and get another one. He will marry again. Therefore, order of these are all examples of selfish love. Swat my prem. But Udav, our love for Krishna was not like that. Krishna never gave us any food. We never demanded food, clothes, jewelry, nothing for Krishna. Our love for Krishna had no selfish motives. And Krishna's love for us also was not selfish. Therefore, Udav, if our prem was pure, can you tell how it broke? Udav scratched his head, but he could not answer. Therefore, Gurudev says, Udav was sent by Krishna to the school, the University of Prema, pure affection. He said, Udav, he saw the college from a distance. He met the principals and some of the teachers like Radhika and Lalita and Vishaka. But when the gopis gave him admission test, Udav could not even pass the admission, what to speak of, entering into the school of Prem. <laughs> कुछ आगे बढ़ी श्रीमती राधिका जी कृष्ण के विरह में सो रही हैं गोपियां उन लोगों ने गोपियों ने कमल की पाखुड़ियों का सेज बनाया है उनके अंगों के स्पर्श से वो एकदम सुख गया चंदन लगाया चंदन भी सुख गया है जीवित है कि मर गई रूई लेकर के नाक पर दे करके देख रहे हैं ये हिलती डुलती है कि नहीं देखा जे श्वास किसी प्रकार से है और उसी अवस्था में एक काला भ्रमर राधा जी के चरणों को कमल समझ करके उसका मकरंद लेने के लिए उस पर उड़ने लगा उद्धव जी ठीक समय पर पहुंचे उस समय राधा जी मन ही मन में देखा कृष्ण बिना गोपियों के या स्त्रियों के रह नहीं सकता अवश्य ही ये वो मथुरा में है वहां की राजकुमारियों से प्रेम उससे हो गया और उसके साथ में बिहार कर रहा है एकदम उनको क्रोध हो गया भावरे को देखा काला बोली ये कृष्ण का दूत है कृष्ण जैसे काला है वह जैसा काला है नाम नहीं लिया वह जैसा काला है ये भी काला है हो न हो वहीं से आया है वो हमारे मनाने मुझे मलाने के लिए है जे ओह प्रियतम का कोई दोष नहीं तुम्हारे तुमको बहुत आदर जत्न करते हैं तुमको मनाने के लिए आया हूं आप उन पर क्रोध न करें एकदम क्रोध से लाल हो गई और कहने लगी इसी को श्रीमद भागवत के दस श्लोकों में जल्प प्रजल्प सुजल्प अधिजल्प अभिजल्प अनुजल्प इत्यादि दस भागों में इसका वर्णन किया है उज्जवल लीन में इनके लक्षण सब दिए गए हैं तो राधा जी कह रही हैं ओ तुम 
मधुबन से आया है जहां पर मधु होती है शराब और उसका मालिक जो है मधुपति वो काला इसका इससे आज शराब की दुकान को मध्य की दुकान को चलाता है ओ वहीं से तुम मधु पी करके मध्य पान करके यहां आया है हमें मनाने तो वो मानो भन भन कर रहा है उसको सुन करके कहती हैं राजा जी ओ हमको मनाने आया है अरे मूर्ख तुम तुम मध पी करके मध्य पान करके अपवित्र है हमारे पैरों को न छू यहां से निकल जा काला काले जितने होते हैं कपटी होते हैं तो भी उस कपटी से कपट सी करके मुझे मनाने आया है जानता है ये मनाना कैसे होता है तुम नहीं जानते अरे ये तो बता तुम्हारे ये जो गुफे हैं इनमें कुमकुम कहा से लगा निश्चित कृष्ण ने किसी राजकुमारी का आलिंगन किया होगा और उसके बस्तक्षल का कुमकुम कृष्ण के मालाओं में लग गया होगा तुम वहीं से लेकर के कुमकुम और तुम्हारी गोफे पीली हो गई हैं जल्दी से हटो मत छू हमारा पैर कहता है जय स्वामिनी जी ये तो हमारा स्वाभाविक है ने? ये पीली हमारे मुझसे जन्म से ही है हमने कुमकुम टुमकुम से कोई संबंध नहीं है दूर हो जा मैं जानता हूं जानते हो तुम किसके दूत हो वो कहीं ना कहीं जदू की जादुओं की स्त्रियों से प्रेम कर रहा होगा और उसके पति जान जाएंगे तो जानते हो क्या होगा कैसी उसकी दुर्गति होगी तुम भी उसी के दूत हो ना जाओ जाओ यहां से जाओ फिर वो भन भन करता रहा तो फिर वो कहती हैं हो तो मुझे बनाने के लिए आए एक बार उसने अपने अधरों का मधु हमें पान करा दिया और हमें पागल कर दिया जैसे तुम हो ना भौरों से पुष्पों से मधु लेकर और फिर उस मधु पुष्प पर उस फूल पर नहीं जाता छोड़ देता है ऐसे वो भी काला हम लोगों से कितना प्यार करता था और हमें छोड़ करके अब वहां की खुबजा से बड़ा प्रेम करने लगा और दूसरों से और भी क्रोधित हो गई यहां मत रहो जाओ जहां पर तुमको मनमाना इनाम मिलेगा पुरस्कार मिलेगा वहां चली जाओ 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 मथुरा में जाओ उन जादो पत्नियों के पास में जाओ जिसको जिसकी इच्छा कृष्ण ने पूर्ण कर दी है वो तुमको तुम्हारी झोली को भर देंगी हम तो कृष्ण के मारे कृष्ण के लिए ही घर से निकल गई अब एक चना भी देने में समर्थ नहीं है तुम जाओ फिर वो भन भन करता रहा फिर बोली मानो भ्रमण कर रहे लक्ष्मी जी जिनके चरणों में रहती हैं भला वो कहीं ऐसा हो सकता है नहीं वो तो बहुत ही सीधा सादा और बहुत अच्छा है नहीं वो भोली हम लोग भोली भाली हैं और वो भी हमसे भी भोली भाली हैं वो यदि कृष्ण की जानती जब किसी स्त्री से प्रेम नहीं करता है प्रेम करके छोड़ देता है तो वो भी इनके चरण की सेवा नहीं करती अरे और क्या बतलाऊ एक काला था वो काला अपने माता पिता के आदेश से बन में गया और ऐसा स्त्री कामी कि एक दूसरे स्त्री कामी सुग्री से मित्रता कर ली और बोला जी हम तुम्हारी स्त्री को ला देंगे तुम हमारी स्त्री को लाने में मदद करना और इसी के लिए बाली जो बंदर है जिसका मांस भी नहीं खाते उसको उसने छिप करके मारा बाली ने क्या दोष किया और वही स्त्रैन कामी स्त्री को साथ में लेकर के बन में गया 
सुरपनखा उसके रूप को दे करके मोहित हो गई तो उसका नाक कान काट लिया एक काला और एक काला और था जो था तो लंबा चौड़ा किंतु बामन बन करके गया बलि महाराज जी को छल करके तीन पैगों से ही सारी पृथ्वी को मार नाप लिया और उसको नाक फांस से बांध करके गिरा दिया वो तो प्रहलाद जी और ब्रह्मा जी के कृपा से फिर उनको छोड़ा तो कालो लोगों से हमारा कोई संबंध नहीं है जाओ जाओ मनाने के लिए आए हो तुम हमें क्या कहते हो मथुरा जाने के लिए मथुरा में हम कैसे जा सकती हैं अरे वो तो सब समय उनको लेकर के बैठा है और वो नहीं आए तो लक्ष्मी जी को अपने पस्तक्षल पर सब समय धारण करता है हम वहां जाकर के सौतों के साथ में उनके साथ में कैसे रह सकती हैं फिर बोलिए ओहो तुम वहां से लौट करके आए हो गोकुल से वृंदावन से क्या कृष्ण अपने सखाओं को अपनी मैया को गायों को बछड़ों को स्मरण करते हैं हाय कभी भी किसी भी प्रसंग से हमारा स्मरण करते हैं कि ये अच्छी तरह से फूल नहीं गूंत सकती माला नहीं बना सकती या बहुत अच्छी तरह से करती है तुम लोग नहीं कर प्रसंग में कहते हैं ये कह करके हा नाथ रमण क्वासी क्वासी महाभुज कृपया दासते हा नाथ हे प्रभु आप हमारी रक्षा करें उद्धव जी देख करके दंग रह गए उनका प्रेम ऐसा प्रेम तो हमने कभी सुना नहीं देखा नहीं वंदना करने लगे आशा महो चरण रेन जुसा हे गोपियो तुम्हारा ही जीवन धन्य है तुम्हारे लिए पृथ्वी धन्य है ब्रजद भी तुम्हारे लिए धन्य है मैं तुम्हारे चरणों की धूली को ग्रहण करने के लिए वृंदावन में कहीं गोलम लता घास बनना चाहता हूं जो गोपिया विशार के समय में जाएं उनकी चरणों की धूली मिल जाए किंतु नहीं हुआ बंदे नंद ब्रज स्त्री नाम मैं नंद के ब्रज की गोपियों की चरणों की एक धूली की वंदना करता हूं जिसके विरह के गान से सारा विश्व ब्रह्मांड उद्धार पा सकता है ये कह करके उद्धव जी एकदम तन्मय होकर के गोपियों की प्रशंसा तो ये उद्धव जी भी जहां पर के घास नहीं बन सके ऐसी गोपियों की महिमा है गोपियां भक्त नहीं है कृष्ण की अपनी प्यारी गोपियां हैं प्रिया प्रियतमा है राधा जी की काय व्यूहा है और राधिका जी स्वयं उनकी हिला नहीं सकती हैं इनकी भाई बाप अपरम पार है संक्षेप में आप लोगों को बहुत संक्षेप में सुनाया अब यहीं पर आज की कथा का हम विश्राम देते हैं अभी आरती होगी आरती होकर के भागवत की पूजा होगी और प्रसाद लेकर के आप लोग अपने It will take so much time. I wanted to finish very soon. Those who have um, took diksha today and collected some diksha, they can come and give to Guru Dev now. They have an order. Very brief. After doing his after doing his anek, he saw some other gopis, especially one gopi lying underneath one tree. She was in this state of extreme separation and her friends had taken the petals of a lotus and made one bed out of it. Upon her body they had applied sandalwood paste. But the fire from her body was so intense that sandalwood paste was drying up. Her friends were un trying to understand if she is alive or not. Therefore they were taking some cloth some thread and putting under her nose, they could see some breath is coming. In this state of extreme separation, one black bee came to Nis, came to Shimadi Radhika's feet at the same time Uddhav approached them. That black bee, Radhika thought to be a messenger of Krishna. Therefore Radhika could understand Krishna could not stay even one second without a lady or without any gopis. They were seeing that bee as a messenger of Krishna. 
she began to abuse that bee. Or that black one, she is not saying the name of Krishna. Therefore, she began to abuse the bee, and that bee began answering by humming. Oh, Swamini, your Krishna has no fault. He has so much respect for you. Hearing the buzzing of the bee, Radhika became angry and manifested her anger in speaking ten verses. That is called Brahmagit. Sri Rupa Goswami has explained all these ten verses. And he is Sri Ujvala Nilamani as the ten different ecstatic moods of Radharani. Devakadaipa Matapapati Masbi Sangam Sapatnyan. Oh Madhupati. Madhupati means Krishna. Because Krishna comes from Madhuvan, Maturavan. Therefore, Krishna is the Lord of Madhuvan or Matura. Madhu also means alcohol. And therefore, she said, I know you've come from that Madhupati, that person who has opened the big wine shop in Mathura. Krishna is drinking the Madhu of the gopis, therefore, he became intoxicated. Therefore, you are also like that. Someone who drinks alcohol is impure. Therefore, Radhika said, you have come here in an impure position. Just see, you have come to pacify me, but on your moustache, there is some yellow color. I know from where that came. Krishna is embracing the wives of the Yadus there in Mathura. And the makeup on their bodies has come on Krishna's garland. You have gone on that garland and their makeup has come on your moustache. Therefore, you are dirty and shameless and impure. You don't know how to pacify anyone. Therefore, the bee was answering, Oh, Radhika, this is not true. By birth, my moustache is yellow. This is not, I have no relation with any makeup or anything. Then Radharani said, I know you. You are the same nature as your master. And when the Yadus know that Krishna is embracing their wives, they will become very angry. There will be many problems there for Krishna. They you have come for pacifying me, but I am not to be pacified by you. Oh, B, don't you know one time we tasted the nectar of the lips of Krishna? And he made us mad, but he never came back again. Just as a bee goes from one flower to another flower, taking all the nectar of the flower, he never returns again to that flower. In the same way, Krishna took everything from us. Then he went to Mathura and made a relationship with a deformed woman named Kubja. Just like a musician, when he sings, he's hoping to get some donation from the audience. Then Radharani said, you are very foolish to come here singing for some donation. You should go back there to Mathura and the wives of the Yadus will give you so much. We cannot even give you one chickpea. We left everything for Krishna. Then the bee may say, but this is not true. That bee may say, but Lakshmi, she is always on the chest of Krishna. Then the gopis may say, we are not so foolish like Lakshmi as to believe his words. Therefore, Radhika said, this is not just the fault of that black, this is the fault of all blacks. There was another black one, not saying his name, but this is Ram. He was so lusty. He took sannyas. But what type of sannyas? He took sannyas and went to the forest with his wife. They were all blacks are lusty like that. And that black, he was very lusty when his wife was stolen, so he made friends with another lusty person called Sugriv. His wife was also stolen. Just like one lusty person makes a relation with another lusty person. And how cruel! Supanika saw his beauty and was attracted. Ram could have said, I won't marry you, but Ram had her nose and ears cut off. Very nice person. And there was another black. His name was Bhavan. He cheated his own devotee because even though he's very big, he came in a very small form and stole everything from his own devotee. Therefore, Radhika said, we have no relation with any black person. Therefore, you should go back to Mathura where you came from. So, Radharani says, the bee may say, you may also go to Mathura. Then Radharani can say, how we can go there, that is the abode of Lakshmi. Then Radhika thought, said to the bee, does he remember us? Does he speak about us even in a disparaging way? Sometimes does he remember our service? And thinking this, Radharani cried, Hanath, Ramana Prest, Kwasi Kwasi Mahabujo. Oh beloved, 
Ramana Prest, Kwasi Kwasi Mahapuja, O oh Krishna, whose arms are very strong, where are you? And saying this, Radhika fainted on the ground. Seeing this mood, Uddhav became astonished, and he prayed to, to feed dust to the gopis. Asamaho Chanarenu Jusama Shamsha. Asamaho Chanarenu Jusama I hope in my next life I can take birth as a tree, as a shrub or a blade of grass, so the gopis can walk on me and I can get their food dust on my head. Finally he prayed, Vande Nanda Brajasriyam Padarenam Abhiksanam Yasam Harikato Gitam Bhunati Bhavati Trayam All glories to the gopis. When they chant the name, form, qualities and pastimes of Krishna, they purify the whole world. By hearing the discussion, by hearing the topic, the kirtan of the gopis, all can cross the influence of the illusory energy. So, Uddhav, he could not even become a grass in Vrindavan. Therefore, the gopis are not ordinary. We cannot even say they are devotees. The gopis are more than any devotee. The gopis are the direct expansion of Krishna's own body. Go Premanandi! Jabra se Gurudev ki zhe, Bhagavad Gita ki zhe. So all I requested uh, to come in row, according to our scripture, all listeners must worship Bhadrimad Bhagavatam and speaker of Bhagavatam. Unless we do this, we don't get benefit of Harikatha. If you have brought something with you, then it's fine. If you have nothing, we are providing flowers to all. So please come in row and take a flower and offer Anshimad Bhagavatam in Lotus Feet of Gurudev. You can eat Dakshina, Karim, Yoshanda, whatever you want. And please don't waste time. Please, one line for the Yes. Uh, one, one, make two rows, one for ladies and, and one for gents. And please don't take too much time and make it fast. And all uh, other Maharaj will start uh, Kirtan.